Now, for those of you who haven't been to one of our shows before, welcome to your first Sleek Geeks experience. I want to make a couple of things clear. You can trust what we say. Don't freak out if some of it's a little bit heavy. We're not going to turn around at the end of the night and give you an exam, OK? Now, there's two reasons we won't test you at the end of the show. One, a lot less people would turn up to the show if there was going to be an exam. And secondly, the last thing we would want to do is cause death or injury to the people you love most. I'm talking about the phenomenon, Carl, of the dead grandmother exam syndrome. <laughs> Mike Adams was an American academic who'd been doing the rounds for a while, and like any of the many academics I'm sure we've got here tonight, he's heard all sorts of excuses for why people couldn't hand in tests, why people couldn't get assignments done on time, why people couldn't sit exams, including the old, oh, ah, uh, sorry, my grandmother died. Now, in Mike's experience, he heard that my grandmother's died story a little bit more often around exam time than he did in the rest of the year. So he and his colleagues started to crunch the data. When you look at A-grade students, there's a background four per year grandmother's passing away incidents. As you move through the middle of the term, that increases. When you get to the final exam of the year, grandmother is twice as likely, it seems, <laughs> to die. For the C-level students, it's a far more pronounced trend. <laughs> Gee, Carl, I wonder what will happen for the students who are really struggling. When you go to the F-grade students, <clears throat> grandmother goes from a background factor of six to 218. She is more than 36 times more likely to drop off the perch simply because her dopey grandchild is attempting and failing a university exam. I'd like to point out at this stage that that uh, 218, uh, that number of dead grandmothers, is out of every 100 grandmothers mm. that they actually have. Mm. Now, there, so there's a trend with the grades. The other trend is more worrying, and that's the trend with regard to the decades rolling past. And here you can see the decades over which he carried his study. And he plotted the FDR, that's Scientific Medical Talk for Family Death Rate. And you can see the curve relentlessly ramping upwards. And somebody like Adam and many in the audience could have already worked out in their brain that that curve is described by that equation. And you would then think further. And you would work out that in one century from now, when your great-great-grandkids go into an exam, by the mere act of walking into the exam, <coughs> you will have killed 6.44 grandmothers <laughs> per student per exam. That is the last thing that we want to do, Dr. Carl.